you have no idea how close you are, but for uh, meta explanation, you were pretty damn close because you were behind the wall, or able to see in the front of you the wall of creepers around the lake. So, um, so my character's gonna turn to Reich and be like, "Well, he's an elf, and you seem pretty uh, quick on your feet. We have to get over these things. There's no way over them. How do you think about running on top of them?" I shrug my head and I say, it sounds stupid, but stupid has unfortunately been the only way this party has seemed to progress in anything. <laughs> he just and, nods to that. And I don't like leaving Kieran by herself long, a long time. People are going to die and not the people who want to die. I There's like no that Mike is here. concerned. No one would go out here. For everybody else, not Kieran. Yeah. <laughs> I, shake, I, I shake my head and I say, you know Kieran. She's gonna kill someone we don't want her to kill. She's been alone too long. <laughs> you guys <laughs> like a little pause and so I was like Now she's been alone too long. Yes, we should find her. <laughs> guys make me a perception a check. Around. Make me a perception check. Perception. Not taking anywhere near as long as it takes Kieran. Uh, Stalbor, uh, as like now, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, almost like as soon as he's kind of like thinking to himself, like confirming his counting of seconds, uh, half joke, half serious. Um, uh, when, when he looks off to the side, he actually sees a tree where uh, a few creatures are being blasted out of it and more of them are trying to clamber up to it. And he's able to see a familiar form uh, up in that tree. So you guys are able to see that. And so... Oh, I, I, would, I would point out to them and they'd be like, no, you don't know this, Belford. That's our ally, and he can oh. clean apart. And okay. I will uh, cast Toll the Dead, not on anything, just to do the sort of like the swoosh and the glowies, so he can probably see. Oh, sure, 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 sure. So, um, uh, more or less, you're just casting a, a spell of necromancy, hoping to catch his uh, attention with it. Oh. Okay. Kieran, back to you. Uh, yeah. Three of the people on the, uh, the carpet uh, pull out. This very similar, if not the same looking kind of potions, and to quickly uh, drink them. Um, oh, those potions. He gives them the ability to, you know, and he kind of gestures to them as all three of them are starting to fly up off of the, the carpet. That's awesome. And this carpet, like, why do you need it if you can just fly? And I'm kind of going to go over and touch it. Oh, you, 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 you will back away if you get too close. Like, if you start moving towards him, he backs away and they all fan out around you. That's cool. I charge at it, and I'm going to cast um, Thunderstep if I can. You're I'm going to try to going to have to roll initiative before you That's can right. just kind of jump in. Yeah. Why can't I have a surprise attack? Because there's no surprise attack when you're in a aggressive conversation. You've been having a polite I'm, conversation I'm with nice this guy for like ten minutes. I know. It's not a surprise anymore. And I'm really hoping this times up perfectly with my explosions. Maybe I think I, I, I think this conversation lasts longer than two minutes. It it's also longer than. It's also longer than two minutes out of game. Yeah. <laughs> Where I'm not trying to stall as much as Karen would be. Sorry, I rolled the wrong time. What, what is going on here? Oh, did I not click my token? No, no, no. It's, it's me. It's me. There we go. That's what I wanted to click, damn it. Okay, so you have an 18. So, um, right? You got an 18? I did. Yeah, okay. I cool, cool, cool. It. So you actually do um, uh, are able to react faster than the person on the carpet, but two others are able to react faster than you, and the last one goes last. So one of the people that's able to react quicker than you is the strange reptilian-looking creature. Um, and he, as, as soon as you start charging forward, goes is like... <laughs> And uh, takes this deep breath in, and then starts breathing outwards. See, I described it as reptilian. What color is he? I described it as uh, being covered in scales, reptilian and whatnot. However, it's actually blue. Uh, the scales are blue. And so, uh, what breathes outwards is just chain lightning breathing out, uh, breathing out and towards you. Uh, fortunately, um, you never kept that cloak that you could have from your um, uh, potential father-in-law. I have resistance already. From what? My class. Oh, class gives you resistance. That's right. Yeah, remember the, the, the ability she used? Yeah. 
This way, sixth sixth level, you get resistance. Yes, yep. yes, yes. So yes, I, don't, I don't fucking need your cloak. <laughs> <laughs> that cloak would make you immune, though, man. It'd make you immune. I don't need it. I'll um, eventually get immunity. <laughs> On my own. Eventually. Why are you not working when I ask you to work? Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, is it 2d6 damage, right? Yeah, 2d6 damage. There we go. So make me your um, uh, dexterity save. I think a fourth That's of a pretty good save. Damage. Take a quarter damage. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Woo wee! So it breathes at you, dealing to you what's that one point of damage uh, with his lightning breath. Um, the other one, uh, very quickly, uh, starts drawing up magics and starts casting a spell. Uh, you can actually roll me an arcana check. I don't know magic. I'm not trained in this shit. <clears throat> um, which is the reason why you don't know what spell it is. Uh, and casts a spell on you. Unfortunately for you, it casts a spell magic. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Kaplunk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't even know away from where the explosions are going to be. <laughs> I, I fall very slowly. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. And she's going to fall into the lake. So the good news is not like where all the bad guys are. So... But it means uh, I can't do what I was planning on doing. So, well, you're falling now, and it's your turn. Well, no, I can cast fly, but that's not going to help me. I'm just going to throw step away from the combat and just go away from this whole scene, <laughs> essentially. Do what you like because to do. Because I, I, I fuck these guys. It's, it's the only thing, thing you can do. Mean, unfortunately, like yeah, I was going to try to thunder yeah. step and grab the carpet, but I can't do that now. So. No, no yeah. We I mean, screw it. Thunderstep away. Everyone can die, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. No, you're fine. So, uh, within 10 foot space uh, where you left, so it's one of those uh, teleport. Well, I mean, th that explosion is not going to hurt any of you because you're away from the explosion. It's not like it's not like it's a nuke. You know what I mean? There are little bombs. It's just when Stalbor had it, he had a fuck ton of little bombs in his hand. You know what I mean? Um, so, the... And those are thousands, you know? So uh, you teleport yourself. So it's 10 foot space from where you left. So I imagine it's like immediately as you start falling, because you fall slowly, immediately when you start falling, you cast this spell. And where do yeah. you teleport to? 300 feet away from all the creatures, like back towards the city. So you want to head... going to go back to the ship at this point. So, so 300 feet's not very far. So it's more or less to the other side of the lake or further into the side that you're on further away from all of this because i'm gonna fly away okay cool 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 this. cool. so you more or less you're thrusting yourself to the other side which coincidentally is the side that you originally came from even if karen might not realize that at this moment which is convenient because it actually puts you over like near where the party is so you guys hear a thunderclap boom and then karen actually uh appears uh in the air uh over by the canopy um Oh, roll me perception checks, guys. But about like uh, 40 feet from where you are, uh, over where a whole bunch of these creatures are. Luckily for Kieran, she casts a spell, therefore she can fly 15 feet for free and can easily like thr thrust herself a little bit further and into a tree where she'll be safe for the moment before she starts casting. Um, so yeah, you're able to see that she's 40 feet away from you guys and then use like that immediately, I forget what it's called, that immediate fly ability to get herself safely into a tree for the moment. Tempestuous magic. Tempestuous magic, thank you. Um, uh, over where like the m mounds of them are. All right, Ollie, pulling into you for a second. You had just called over to the uh, to the lizard folk and grabbed his attention. And he's uh, he's looking down to, he like looks off at the areas, kind of like scouting to where you are. You kind of like throw another one up there and he sees exactly where you are. And finally seeing that you guys have arrived, he kind of like looks back over his shoulder at something in the middle of the lake, like he's concerned about something for a second. And then he looks back towards you and he pulls out his book that he had, holds up his staff 
and then he just immediately starts chanting and waving the staff around. And as he does so, you can start to see these incorporeal creatures uh, forming all around him. There's like a big mass of them. That was very exciting. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That are are forming around uh, where he is. And then just with a a, a gesture with the staff, you see these incorporeal creatures uh, rushing like a wave down the uh, uh, the tree and into the mass of oncoming uh, creepers. And it just starts blasting them, moving them out of the way, blasting them to the side. So, you know, he's a lizard folk, so he gets down out of the tree rather deftly because this is his uh, innate terrain, his uh, indigenous terrain. So he gets down out of the tree rather deftly as the uh, creatures around are either trying to pile towards him or recover uh, themselves where they were blasted to the side um he made a path immediately to kind of get to you guys but then had to pull back the the creatures around him that he had sent forward to just kind of like hit swaths back to the left and back to the right again to hold them back hold back like the sea of these creatures so he can continue moving forward to get to you so he's doing that kieran just appeared uh, so he's doing that and he's making his way towards you kind of getting past the mountain of them unfortunately this gets their attention and turns their attention towards him, who's making his way towards you guy, mm-hmm. effectively making their attention towards you guys. Um, uh, nice. As he's kind of rushing forward, all of a sudden you hear, you know, that crack, boom, from across the lake, and Kieran appears right above. It's Stallboar's eyes that immediately see where she is, and then kind of like Bellum, after she's like flying over a little bit to get to safety, follows Stallboar's eyes and sees it as well. Reich is just thinking... Fuck! As you he sees, us on the boom. <laughs> you know, All as right, he... guys, let's go. We're out of here. Why? We're done. We're calling it. Because there's no point for us to be here, and I'm on a magic try to force it to work. Excuse me? We just got here. There's another group here. They want to try and capture this thing. And they're willing to kill me to do it, and there's nothing I can do about it. That is the exact opposite reason to leave. Right! There's no reason for us to be here. We're not getting paid for it. Nobody wants us to do this. Yes, but payment is not what we are doing no. this for. Right, I'm not killing myself for something that's probably not even gonna work. We have no idea how like far stretching this thing is. This is ridiculous. I never knew you were to give up because something was too hard, Gary. I'm not giving up because it's too hard. I'm out of Mind magic. Mind you, there's waves of creatures coming yeah. towards you guys. I'm uh, out of magic. Which is so why we it's leave perfect. Now, we leave now or we die here. I can't do this alone. So I look to, to Star War. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for Luca. And then I draw my sword and spell These book in one hand. didn't kill Luca! You're not it, even a vent. It's him. a creature of madness. It's, it's not all a creature the same. of madness. It's a creature of plant life. The gatekeepers weren't even concerned about killing it. Gatekeepers don't know dick. The, uh, the, uh, as you guys are arguing and, um, uh, the lizard folk is rushing towards you, um, to, to meet up with you guys, you do also, uh, roll me perception checks, everybody. You do also. Wait a minute. I don't want to make. I can't it give you that for free. While you're being attacked by zombies. I don't. I, I can't understand what any of you are saying right now. Uh huh. I'm. I'm scotting uh-huh. so hard right now. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Can't. You can't turn that to be a power. That's not how it, it works. Is it not a magic power, Mike? So um. Uh. So what was it saying with your perception checks? So Bellum is the one that all of a sudden looks up and notices that there is uh, something moving towards you guys, kind of crested underneath the, the lake enough that, because you heard the explosions off to the side, obviously I made sound effects. You heard the explosions off. It's actually only about a quarter way around the lake from um, where you are at the moment, as uh, we were describing beforehand with uh, when you spoke to the Lizard Folk originally, Aaron. So um, it's about a quarter way around the lake. Totally something that you could try to trek to, but obviously now the creatures are aware of your your presence here right. um but wait hold on but what the bellum sees is cresting uh starting to crest underneath where it is looking at what's going on something had caught their attention to make it look that direction it was probably the lizard folk using his magics um you see somebody on a carpet um flying over and something else flying over as well 
Right, I'll, listen to me. I'm like, gonna interrupt. I'm gonna interrupt. You're Katie. convincing the wrong Tell way. Us. On a carpet? We... On a carpet? On a carpet. No, I, I asked Karen that. Because she mentioned that there were people trying to get it. And I, I don't give a carpet. fuck about the people on the carpet who are flying around. I shoot at, at the, at the this carpet. Point in time. No, guys, listen. We she, know no, for a she, fact. She confirmed that guys. it was <laughs> the people on the carpet. I'll wait. Are you done? Sorry. It's one of those things where you can't really go no when we're already surrounded by the minions. Well, exactly. Here's the deal. We know for a fact that minions will stay up after we kill this thing. We cannot fight our way out. Oh, that wasn't Starboy in character. That's all he yeah. just like. This is Kirit in character. We, like. We're already here. They know that these creatures, these minions, will stay up. We don't know that. We do. We, we were told. We have no reason to know that. We were told. No. You, yeah, actually, you weren't told. They, they've never experienced one of these things dying. We've, yeah, yeah, we've never you... seen something die. We asked questions, and somebody told us that, like, they, these things would continue on the beat. Uh, no, the no. Of when it hibernates. Told... Yeah, when this thing hibernates, yeah. they stay active. Which is why when it dies, so it kills all they, these they might stay active, but we don't know. We don't know that. I'm going to make that yeah. argument in-game, though. Like, we can't fight our way out. And also, I, I, would, I would... The only chance we can fight our way out is now. At the game, I would argue that without Kieran's magic, we are fucked. No, we don't, have the, we don't have the damage. <laughs> yeah. So, um... If I have both of these things. Uh, hold on, wait. Ollie, just stop him for a second before Bell makes his attack. You're saying that the the rewards are broken? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm so bit not reading chat because know, I'm focusing on you guys. I know, because they're telling, talking about it properly. Uh, I'm just trying to draw your eye to it. Yeah, 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 thank you. So, I mean, I see... I, I, I've had something come in. I haven't seen anything else come in, so I'm not sure how they're broken. Um, so oh! They just say them oh, yeah, I see! Diamond Worm! Ah! Uh, turn them on. Ah, uh, I, gotta, I gotta turn it on. Give me two seconds. Sorry, it might be. Hey, turn it on. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's funny. Right. I'm telling you right now, I can't tell you anymore. I'm... I, I'm agreeing with you, but okay. this is not entirely in my hands. Hold on, hold on. We're on Bellum yes. now. That problem should be solved. You might have to refresh. So sorry about that. Let's continue on. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Let's continue on. So Bellum actually makes an attack roll, and that is a solid fucking... I, actually, you should have gotten uh, advantage on that because they weren't aware of the fact that you were there. Um, you, you're hey. welcome to re-roll with advantage. Lower. Okay. Uh, nice. In case there's a chance of a critical hit. Yep. Alright. Roll your damage, sir. It would be funny if you missed, though. I would laugh pretty hard. Is the thing I'm shooting, has it taken any damage yet? Uh, Actually, yes, because Kieran exploded in front of it. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> he got exploded. <laughs> so, um, uh, 19 <laughs> points of damage is a considerable amount of damage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, um, uh, you, the 19 amount of, uh, sorry, 19 points of, uh, damage to that, that creature as all of a sudden an arrow lines up and, and clips the guy on the shoulder. Oh, shit. And, uh, you see that all of a sudden three others, uh, kind of fly down and swoop down to, to see what's over in your area. Um, one of them is, uh, is holding a book and just kind of like looking down and trying to see where you are and having a hard time. Uh, another one of them is, is uh, the half elf is uh, looking and actually spots you guys and starts gesturing um, uh, very quickly, gesturing at where you guys are. I will read to you the action points drop in a couple moments. So Wait, just um, to clarify, you said you said three others. Or did you mean two others? Because it's three total, right? F four total. Oh Jesus! Yeah, it is a classic adventuring party. So um, so. Oh, no. It's a classic adventuring party, guys. We're a non-standard adventuring party. We don't stand a chance. <laughs> retreat! Full retreat! <laughs> so, um, you, uh, are with them, and so they're, uh, so is pointing, gesturing at where you guys are, and then the, the wizard is trying to, like, flip through the book, trying to find the appropriate spell for the situation. However, that person that you clipped in the shoulder, Will, you can see between the explosion that Kieran did and the arrow that you shot that person with, he's, he's pretty injured. You know what I mean? He's not looking, he's not looking good. Um, all right, we could actually bring this to initiative now to kind of, like, pull in 
the direction you guys are going if you're heading towards the cave or staying here and fighting or just full out running to kind of like pull that in give me two seconds to, to clean up the initiative tracker okay. um and initiative tracker is clear all right i have to roll mine twice just because i do that because of things yeah so i have a 17. Oh crap, wait. I don't do I not have a token? Yeah, I don't think I have a token. Rip. So you're gonna have to put me in there. Oh, Bellum doesn't have a token? Oh I sent you one, but you never input it. Oh, one. that's right, that's right, that's right. So I was about to make a joke. I'm gonna say it anyways, even though it's not technically correct. I'm gonna, I'm about to math this you. Uh but you actually sent me a token no. I think four weeks ago. So yeah. so let's be clear. Uh he was he did nothing wrong, but I'm gonna pretend like you did. Oh, that's right. We're rolling initiative. Yeah. And then, uh, hopefully Kieran can make, can convince them one way or the other. I mean, I'm only going to give one last shot and then I'm just going to leave. How strong is your friend, Thalbor? All right. Pretty strong. We know he's strong, but that, that, the problem is that He's that strong enough matter. to help us lead away to the monster, but now that there's these guys as well, it's yes, act that, actually 100% yeah. outmatched, too much. and we've just yeah. wasted 10 episodes. Yeah. I know. <laughs> like, that's the only thing. The only reason why we're invested in this combat at all is not because of any in-character reason. It's because time. we've just invested so much time into this point. Um, what is this called? Yeah, I think if they weren't there, it, it, would, it would... If they weren't there, this would still be, like... They we need death sentence, but we'd be able to do it. it. Stupid. Them being there makes it like we actually can't even try. We gotta yeah. run. Okay, so hold on. <sighs> Bellum is first. Uh, Bellum is able to act. Go right ahead, sir. Uh, the guy I shot, I'm going to shoot him again. Okay. Uh, I have advantage. Double tap. And before uh, yeah, you, you can do that. While you're doing that, Reich, Stahlborn, and Kieran each two action points. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Now I have three. I'm, I'm back, baby. Alright, so I assume the first shot hits. Alright, hold on. I was uh, clicking things, now I'm back. So, uh, the, the first shot does hit, yes sir. Uh, oof, god damn it, 14 points of damage. Uh, you hit the person. The person, uh, when you hit them with the second arrow, you actually hit them in their side. Uh, it, like, literally in their, in their, uh, abdomen area. So, when they take that hit, they actually kind of fall to a knee. Um, trying to take some sort of cover or whatever from the, the, uh, carpet itself. However, they are, oof, ugh, in lots of pain uh, right there. I'm gonna let a, a second arrow go at him. Why are you rolling with advantage? Uh, if they haven't acted in the rounds of combat, I get advantage. Got them. This is a new combat, technically. Yeah. That is a, a hunter ability. Ew. Holy shit. <laughs> that makes you... Roll four points of damage. That makes you very powerful. Uh, yeah. You hit him with another uh, arrow, and not only does the arrow uh, clip him one last time uh, up at the same shoulder where you hit him before, but like, closer to his neck, um, and he kind of like flops down, the carpet immediately starts kind of like flopping and uh, crash landing on the ground down below. Immediately I, starts going down to the uh, ground. You're gonna clip I, him to I death. turn to Karen and say, one down. You're clipped. Okay. This isn't even the impossible task we're supposed to do. Yeah, the, that that's the thing is I, I agree with her at this point because he, he probably expend a <laughs> shit of resources to no, beat these we, guys while we have to leave, not get murdered. But they're gonna follow us. Oh, that's One fine. Down. Let them follow us. We'll kill them as they go as we go. Yes, yes, right. exactly. And then I'm gonna move backwards, probably thirty feet. Okay, so you start trying to move backwards a little bit. Um, yeah. As you're moving backwards, oh, I forgot to throw the lizard folk on here. I will add him in two seconds. So. um... Uh, as you guys are moving backwards, uh, one second, let me get him, uh, boop, okay, and throw him on the initiative order. Bonus action, I will Hunter's Mark, the other one that hasn't been hit yet that's flying. Okay. Are they, are they close enough for me to do that? Uh, they're not within 30 feet or... Nin 90 feet. Mm, not within 90 feet. Okay, I don't do that though. Yeah. 
So uh, the other one, uh, so immediately after your turn, Bellum, is another one of their turns. Uh, they uh, dive bomb down towards their friend that just dropped. And just like you can see them fly down towards that friend as quickly as they possibly can to try to uh, get to them. So whatever it is they're doing, you can't see because they're on the other side of a mountain of um, of these minion creatures. But they dive down, bomb down towards them. Um, immediately after that person's turn is Kieran. Kieran, you're still up in the tree safe for the moment. Uh, and you see that, you know, obviously they're back there. One was shot down. The other, actually, you roll me a perception check, but with disadvantage. For what? To see. Anything or my allies? Because I don't care about anything else. Oh, okay. Then if you don't even want to roll, then cool. you can choose no, not, to know, not to know anything. Uh, uh, I'm going to land down near my allies. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to, like, grab Salbor, like by the shoulders. And I'm just going to say, Luca would want you to live. Truth bomb. Got him. God damn it. <laughs> you flipped Salbor's mind with that one short sentence. It's so damn easy. Do you get a will save, gonna, like, Ollie? Is there like a. No, there... no, it's, that's just convinced. <laughs> it's, it's the emotional equivalent of like the rap uh, battle if, where if, they get the mic drop. Considering it's moment. out of combat and it's talking, and uh, I, I would then turn to Lizard Folk friend and nod to Kieran and be like, See ya. Come with us. <laughs> We've got to leave. Oh, creepy lizard guy's our friend now? Yeah. I was kind of hoping he would get overrun and die, and that would, the problem would just solve itself. He really puts me off. <laughs> he really puts me off. You're real uncomfortable with style pouring in about 10 minutes. All right, and now it's it's uh, so Kieran, you come down, you say your words to stop. It's one of those things too where Kieran's always like, go 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 go, bzz, 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 bzz. but she just how flies down, grabs how, him by the shoulder, how looks was him in the I eyes. In the trees? You you he did that so that you didn't land in creepers. Yeah, I was gonna say like I don't ha I'm not flying anymore. Get, yeah, but you tempestered magic there. Is uh, remember, I, I described that before. I, when you first teleported, okay. you teleported over to safety, but you had tempestuous magic to fly you to a safe spot. Okay. And then you notice your friends afterwards. So I was like, in the tree is not like flying. Correct. Correct. Okay. That's yes. Good. There you go. So anyways, so more or less you, you drop down to where your friends are uh, and you you go over to Stallboy. You spend your entire turn just getting up to him, grabbing your hands on his shoulder, looking him in the eyes, delivering your line, and just more or less melting his heart, which is very uncharacteristic and so important for this moment for Kieran. Um, it's like you, you imagine like a, a World War II movie where like people are having that moment while there's like silent <laughs> bombshells and whatnot going the off in the background. Like, different with like plant zombies everywhere. <laughs> it, you know, it's the same idea. So um, uh, that happens. Reich, it's your turn. Uh, Bellum is not necessarily against retreating, but clearly thinks that he needs to cover your your, your tracks. Uh, Kieran said something to Stalbor. You heard it, obviously. But you also saw Stalbor completely change his... Like, he almost, like, fell back into what he was before you were able to get him out of his bed or however... And got him out of his bed. Uh, and then said his line afterwards. I think you can... You guys could probably understand, but Reich is not going to be the first one to run away. <laughs> not this time. So, uh... That actually makes sense. I'll make a single move action. I'll pull out my bow, and what's the nearest uh, non-creeper baddie that I see? Um, they're not within 90 feet of us. Uh, they're not within 90 feet of you, but you have he a bow, a correct? Yeah. Yes. So there is a, a person over there with a spell book that is cl quickly whipping through the spell book. Uh, yeah. And then there's also this weird scaled one, uh, blue scaled one that's flying up there. Spell book guy, how close is he? Uh, probably about 120 feet away. All right, so that's going to be a disadvantage for me because I have a short bow. You can move up, but then that's I'm bad. I'm not going close <laughs> No thanks. I'll just shoot at disadvantage. Oh, it was on the 20. It was yeah, on it. Was. Eric, are you happy with your, your 15 against short bow guy? Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Uh, actually, no. Saving face. I get a plus four. Um, Unless... Well, if you miss, I was kind of trying to convince you to action play. You actually hit okay, me well. your 15 because he's just a wizard. And so okay, with well, mage true. armor, the, you don't wizard. get much higher I than a 15. Act, I can only activate saving face if I miss, so I didn't use it. Whatever. And you said plus what? It would give me plus four. Uh, well, but do I consider lizard dude an ally? 
Probably you, not. You would Plus consider, three. Yeah, no, no, he's, a, he's an ally. Yeah, he's an ally, and you're trying to save sure. face in front of this ally you've never met. You know what I mean? Well, it doesn't matter. That's I very didn't, goblin. I, yeah. I couldn't you even hit. use it. I couldn't even use it. I hit. Yep, so you actually hit. So uh, nine points of damage. Okay. Uh, you hit with nine points of damage. Do you make a second attack? Oh, yeah. Get a second attack. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, come on! You hit. <laughs> Get at me, son. No, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. 18 yeah. points of damage to the wizard. Uh, okay, so the wizard takes 18 points of damage. Ouchies. Um, and... As a wizard, I know that hurts. Yeah, that that hurts a lot. <laughs> that feel. Uh, and then, Reich, you, like, kind of move up to Kieran and Stalbor? Yep, and I'm just gonna... I, I'm gonna say, let's go. I'll co uh, Me and Bill will uh, we'll cover our retreat. Kieran, clear a path. So... Don't Kieran, stop! Kieran, stop! Or clear a path. You stop for. So uh, Kieran, all of a sudden, credit. She uh, did most of the work getting here. So Katz, uh comes up to you guys and like it comes, finishes rushing up, and he's like, ah, "This is the way. This way, quick! We can get to the tunnels before those fools." And like gestures towards like the side where the explosions just happened. We're gonna we're gonna go to the tunnels later. Come on, and I yeah. grab his arm. I like one arm grabbing, one arm grabbing Salabar, one arm grabbing Lizard Guy. Like we'll come back later. You're, you're touching him. Yeah. He, he actually he actually Bad looks mistake. to to Stalbor and he's like, he just looks to Stalbor. And so obviously well, you were you understood him. Me. Reich and Bellum had no clue what he just said. It just sounded like a whole bunch. Yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stalbor would look at him like. Stalbor's got a pretty emotive face. Mm -hmm. It's usually sad. It's a sad look. Uh, it's like, there's nothing we can do. Sort of actually motioning to himself. It's like, but we can thrive elsewhere. And then I guess I start casting a spell because my turn soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he kind of comes to the realization that more or less you're giving up. And I don't mean that in like a like a bad way, but more or less like you're deeming this as, as not a feasible option. And so I'm he, to judge, but you guys are failures, so... You know. <laughs> and so he's kind of, like, looking at you, looking towards the way of the cave, because obviously for him it was a, a bit of vengeance and clearing out his homeland and stuff like that, looking towards this new enemy that seemed to appear out of nowhere, and uh, and then, like, looking back at the, uh, the swaths of these creatures and his own um, incorporeal creatures uh, fighting back. And before he decides what he's going to do, we're actually going to take a break before we come back for our last little bit. Uh, so, Jesus. we will be back have shortly. To fight this fucker, too. <laughs> no. He's Jesus! Whoa! He's gonna stay <laughs> here if he doesn't join us. Yeah. We just need to... He's, he's, he's gonna sacrifice himself. I'll kill, I'll I'll kill literally everyone. he could come with us and he could be on the boat and we could have Kieran's ghost ship. Okay. <laughs> so, so, why don't... Why don't we be back in a couple moments? Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>